let's say that you either want to trigger something with if this then that ifttt.com from Twitter or you want to post your Twitter posts onto LinkedIn. Either way, you want to do these things that Twitter won't allow you to do. And I think that's horrible of them. So let me show you a way around that. So I am at ifttt.com, if this, then that, dot com. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I solve this problem. It's not hard, it's just a little convoluted. So let's create a recipe here, shall we? So let's start with, we'll click on this, and what we want to do is we want to go down to feed here, because as you'll notice, there's no Twitter anymore. Thank you a lot, Twitter. We built your service, and you're turning off the stuff that we're doing. Makes me a little unhappy. Okay, so we click on feed. Now you've got two options here, new feed item or new feed item matches. If you want everything that you write on Twitter to be a trigger, then you choose this one. In this case, I don't. I want to use a specific hashtag. Let's do this for LinkedIn, and we'll go from there. So, new feed item matches. Uh, let's go for the first thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hashtag. This is, can just as easily be a word that you want to use. It could be... Um, just anything that will always be the same on the stuff that you want on LinkedIn. So I'm going to do pound. You can see I've already done a couple of these. Uh, let's do link I just for giggles. Now what I want you to do is I want you to type this into feed into the feed URL and I will tell you what it is and I'll also put it in the description. HTTP colon slash slash API dot Twitter dot com slash one slash statuses slash user underscore timeline dot RSS question mark screen underscore name equals and then where I've put username here I want you to put your username um, in this case, I'm going to use my podcast and church username, which is the one that I use most often. Now we create trigger, and basically when I do this, anytime I tweet with this hashtag, and I created one earlier that was pound li for LinkedIn, I just did this one just to do it differently. So I create the trigger. So when it sees that hashtag, then what it will do is let's go down to LinkedIn, click on LinkedIn icon, and share an update. So what happens is it gives me the title and it gives me the URL for the uh, Twitter update. I click Create a Action. If this so if I get a new update from Twitter with the linky hashtag, then it's going to update my LinkedIn profile. There you go, Twitter. I just got around your limitations. So I give it a description. Um, sticking it to Twitter's link in restrictions and I create the recipe and now I'm done so let me go to Twitter here and I'm going to write this so just created a recipe on ifttt.com that lets me 
update linked in from Twitter. Pound, L I N K I. Tweet. Okay, now let's head over to LinkedIn. I don't know, I haven't tested the time of this, so it could be that this will take longer than I have in this recording, but ideally, let's see here. And I'm looking. Okay. Profile. Sorry, I should have done this part ahead of time. There's my blog link. Uh, yeah, here's some earlier stuff from Twitter. Yeah, it looks like it didn't post it just yet. So this actually was posted from earlier, but I would expect that that'll post here real soon. So I hope that uh, helps you. Uh, you can, of course, easily use that trick to post uh, tweets to your blog, post tweets to your Facebook. Do anything you can do with if this, then that. Um, just using that RSS feed instead. So I hope that helps you and I hope that uh, Twitter comes to their senses.